Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an all new, redesigned, super awesome luxury front kitchen, but still small travel trailer. This is a 2022 Rockwood Mini Light model 2506S. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Rockwood and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing everybody the Rockwood Mini Light. Before we begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We're back here at RV1 of Tampa. Yes! Um, beautiful dealership here. We love being here. Um, we want to wish all of you a very happy new year. Yes! This past year has been amazing for us. We're super excited for next year and I'm even more excited to take a look at this Rockwood. Yes, and Will, we are making big plans for the Tampa show. Yes! We hope to meet everybody there. That's right. Will, let's begin! Model is Rockwood Mini Light 2506. The actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 25 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 5,528 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 814 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, use weight distribution bar. Yes. Right up here, we do have a nice power tongue jack there. Propane, go, propane tanks go here. You can actually get the bigger 30 pound tanks and your batteries go there. This is the Rockwood Mini Light. Still, all the Rockwood features. Nice fiberglass front cap, nice front windshield there. And you can notice this is a smaller trailer, but it's a taller trailer. Right. Just built better. Right here, we do have the diamond plate rock guard, which is very nice. Electric stabilizing jacks, okay. And uh, a little bit of solar on the outside if you need that. Cool. Right over here, a little bit of storage, not much. Coming on downside here, we do have these nice solid steps. Hydraulic assisted here. Very nice. Very nice. You know, we love these, especially on travel trailers. So many times manufacturers are giving you solid steps, but not the hydraulic assisted. Right. And that's the Rockwood difference right there, Will. Cool. Now, they did make a little exterior change this year. Okay, so the mini light was more white, gray with orange. Right. Okay, now it's more uh, brown, brown. Brown with not necessarily an orange. Kind of like, like a like goldish a orange. Yeah, yeah copper. Exactly. Coming on down the side, still nice though, still nice. Yes. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice grab handle here. TV goes here, uh, cooktop area goes there. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the West Lakes. I love those. ST235 75 R15. That's something else that they changed. They were using the Goodyear Endurance tires, but. Uh, I heard a little rumor that they don't make them anymore, so. Yeah, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. Coming on down the side here, well, look at this nice little refrigerator. Got a little cooktop, Suburban. Very nice, little, uh, uh -oh. little action there. You okay? That mother trucker was hot. That was was it? not hot, it was sharp. Yeah. Mm. They didn't feel that well. It's workman's comp right there. Yeah, it is. How can I perform my duties <laughs> with a with a pinched finger? And then right there, well, it's a nice little refrigerator on the outside. Okay. And then here, uh, hey. outdoor shower. Again, it was that sharpness. It messed up my index <laughs> finger. Right here, we do have a water heater on the outside. And then coming around the back, Will, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. 300 pound hitch, that's great for bikes. Right over here, William. Oh, it's a little bit of storage. Nice, that's pretty cool. Right. Look at this. Very, oh man, very nice. Oh, does it come all the way out? Yeah, it does. That's cool. That easily pushes back in. Very nice. And then right here, it's your city water connection, and a freeze cable hookup and everything. Also, it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. Also, it does have a ladder to get up on the roof. Will. Do Let's go up there and take a look. All right, that's a tall one. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. One air conditioning unit, 30 amp service. Right there, there is a solar panel on the roof. Max air fans and right there's your 360 digital antenna. 
All right, be careful. I know you don't like that side. <sighs> Free! Oh, if you haven't already, make sure everyone smash that thumbs up button, likes and subscribes, and clicks that little bell notification. What are the RV salesman taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Right over here, Will, 30 amp connection. Okay. For 30 amps. Potable water fill for potable water. Potable, potable. Black tank flush to flush your black tank. There you I go. Love it. And then, oh, oh no. man. Right there's where you dump in your sewer and black. The worst part is there's two dumps. Right. One right there as well. Oh no. Little bit of storage here, very nice. Actually connects to the storage underneath the dinette. Oh, you're right. Good feature there. And then finishing up, Will, another little outdoor shower. Cool. Well, Will, the outside of Rockwood Mini Light looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, so nice front kitchen up here. Dining area, living area, kind of all in one. Got the bathroom right here. And the bedroom in the back. Are we starting up front, Matt? We sure are. So inside, Will, let's get started in the middle. Okay. Nice, big, U-shaped dinette. No sofa in this travel trailer again. It is very small, small sofa. I love how big and deep this slide out is. Something to stress about, you guys. It does make it more heavy with the tongue weight. Right. Since the slide out's up front. Just something to know. Uh, right here, we do have nice windows. How do you like those balances, Will? They're nice. Yes, and then we do got the MCD privacy blinds there. Nice big table, U-shaped dinette, the whole family can sit around. It also does drop down to make a bed. And then, Will. Some storage right there. Some drawers right there. And then drawers right there. Same thing right over here. Very nice. And then across is your entertainment center. Furion TV, um, sound system right here, DVD player and everything. A little bit of storage and a fireplace. And then, well, yeah. why don't you show us the bathroom next? Okay. Mixing those, it up a little? Mixing it up. For those of you who don't know, Will is a staggering six foot three. Okay. It's a radius shower. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean the ceiling, the ceiling height in here is okay. Yep. It's not great, but you guys know we don't pass radius showers. Can't pass radius showers. All right, well, right here we do got a little bit of storage. Okay. Okay, if you out. come on through. Yes, sir. You come on through. We got a little bit of storage right here. Okay. Nice little sink area. And then storage right there. Here we go now. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. And I do like the Max Air fan here. Right. Then we're going in the bedroom. Okay. Checking out the bedroom next. Very nice bedroom. I really like the feng shui in here. Here's what I'm talking about. A little bit of storage. Very nice. No slide out in the bedroom, but no, it's still it's very still pretty spacious. Roomy, yeah. Why don't you show what we got going on over there? Okay, we got a nice little drawer right there. Good nightstand right here. Put a CPAP machine, power USB. Well, some little closet space there. Very nice. Storage up top. And same thing all the way down here. And then power and USB for your cell phones. We do have nice pillows, nice little headboard here. And then right there, well, we do have a TV power station, a little bit of a storage in the corner there. Cool. And then, Whoa. that just being that. Yep. Just a little bit out of the way. Man, well, this travel trailer is going by it fast. It really is, yeah. There's not much to it. Would you like to show everybody the kitchen? Show us this kitchen. Cool, sounds good. So right here, we got a nice little pantry space. Mm, Pretty very good nice. for how small this trailer is. A little bit of storage up top. Very nice. Of course, what makes um, the front kitchens is so beautiful window in the kitchen. I love that front window. Yeah, it's nice and big. You can close it off. Uh, regular faucet right here. 
a, a double bowl sink right here with the inserts. Super nice. And just look at how much counter space there is here. All solid surface countertops. I know. Nice and deep and everything. A couple drawers. Very right nice. Here. We'll a little, act oh no, these are for sponges. Yes. And some storage underneath. Double the sponges, double the fun. That's right. Did I get this one already? Nope. Right there. And then look next to A it. little nook right there. That's where you can put like your breads. Yeah, that's cool actually. Yeah. Nice little ma Magic Chef microwave. Ooh, Magic Chef. Nice range hood here. Hood range. And then a three burner Magic Chef cooktop right here. Yes. With the glass and oven. Yes, sir. And then a good spot for some pots and pans right underneath. Finishing it up over here. Well, first you got like a little coat that's holder right, right there. And you got the nice compressor fridge. Uh, you know, again, every Rockwood, which is owned by Forest River, uh, so every Forest River is now getting the TST. Oops. Oh, man. Why'd you do that, Will? I know. It's okay. It's in the protective bubbling. Yep. But yes, every Rockwood's getting the tire pressure monitoring system, yes. which is awesome and great. Yep. Well, Will, we all want to know what the MSRP is. But first... It's time for the three things we like and three things we dislike. Oh, well, Will, why don't, well, what do we do first? Um, You want to do three likes this time? Mix it up a little? Yeah. Okay. We can do three likes this time. First thing I absolutely like is this nice big yes. dinette. Now, I'm going to do a couple combos. It drops down to make a bed, which I like. It's big enough for the family, which I like. A movable table, which I like. All three windows, which I like. And these nice MCD shades. That's my type. That's right. It's my type. <laughs> well, number two. All right, I'm coming back here to the bedroom. Talk to me. Um, the amount of storage and the amount of space in this bedroom is awesome considering, again, it's small. Yes. And there's no slide back yes. here. Yes. You can get all the way around. You got plenty of storage. It lifts up. Good spot for the TV. I think they nailed this bathroom. Uh, bedroom. Or bedroom, yeah. But they nailed it. Yes, yes. sir. That's number two, Will. And then number three, this one was super easy for us. This front kitchen. Absolutely. This front kitchen's phenomenal and fabulous. Uh, I love the countertops. I love that front windshield. I love how much cabinetry is in here. Um, everything about this is super, super nice. And I love it. Cool. Well, Will, that's three things we love about this unit. Now, you ready for three things we don't like about it? Of course. I'm going to go first. Okay. You know how I love this U-shaped dinette? Yes. Personally, I'd rather have a sofa. Would you? Yep. So it's like, I love this U-shaped dinette. I love the dinette for being the dinette. That's not the problem. The problem is if I had to choose between a sofa or a dinette, I would sofa. always choose sofa. Okay. Personally, that's number one. Well, number two. Mine's on the outside. Let's go. Okay. So number two. Okay, so I think um, for the Rockwoods, you know, they always do like nicer, higher end features. I was a little disappointed that they did the uh, manual leveling jacks. Right, so, right. You know. Well, Here's what I'm going to say. I, I actually think it's an option to get the electric okay. stabilizing jacks. And, like, one, unless this was a custom ordered, right? that's one thing. But, two, just, like, it's such an eyesore. It like, really it just is. sticks. Like, it's the For first. For such a nice unit, you it's know. It's the, like, I'm okay with the manual stabilizing jacks, but it is the first thing that sticks out. Yes. For um, sure. And it just doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. Okay. So that's number two. And then, well, number three, you know where we're going. Oh, you yeah. can go, you can you go. Want me to do it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk yeah, to me. So you got two two dump tanks here and they're yeah. both right under the slide. Right. And there's no excuse because there's only one slide here. Exactly, so. exactly. Like you had all the rest of that space yes. to uh to put the, put the dump station. Exactly, exactly. So I don't understand that either, my friend. <laughs> um and again, you know, one one thing that they got against them. Is it is such a big deep slide, right? That right. I don't know why it they're doing that. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this travel trailer here is forty-one thousand four hundred and fifty-three dollars. Will MSRP? As you guys know, we can't advertise sale price, but. We can get everybody a lot better sale price than that, especially if you guys are planning to go to the Tampa show. And all you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that first contact form. We partner with RVR. So it doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, we have a RVR location close to you, and we'll be able to find you one of these and get you a fantastic deal. Yeah, again, guys, the Rockwoods, we, uh, we're really 
uh, showing them a lot. We really think they're a good product. And again, we will be um, having them at the Tampa show. Yes. So we'll be able to get you a great price on them. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.